Our next guest was driven to create her own health product out of sheer desperation. When she was 20, Hannah Cadwallader contracted a staph infection while helping a friend with some gardening, and nothing the doctors gave her helped. Welcome, Hannah. Really lovely to have you on the show. So how did you get the infection? Um, in the beginning, I was helping my friend next door, and her mum had a lot of cats, so years of kitty litter and filth in a garden mm. and touched my face and that's where it started. So initially what did you think had happened? In the beginning I thought it was just acne, like I was just having an outbreak. They turned bigger, cyst-like and um, yeah I just thought, you know, acne. But it wasn't going away and you tried everything, um, steroids, everything, yep. surgical grade wash and everything. There's a picture yep. of you on screen there. I mean it was really, really very a serious condition, isn't it? Definitely was. A month after I first had the first little outbreak, I went to the doctors um, because I got a scratch on my finger and my hand just swelled up and I had this red line going up my arm and I went to the doctors and they said, you know, oh my God, Hannah, how are you still walking? You've got a massive blood infection. Gosh. And that's where I got a tetanus injection and that's where the um, surgical grade body washes, bleach baths and creams and And nothing started. was working for you? Nothing. And then your dermatologist actually said that you were gonna need skin grafts to come right yeah. from this. Yeah, after 18 months of battling this and you know vomiting 11 o'clock every morning from antibiotics and which is no fun no it was horrible and I could sm I smelt of bleach mm. all the time and your self-esteem must have been really terrible at the time I had none and then you started creating you've created this magnificent product yeah. so how did that come about I went home and I had a big block of manuka beeswax and you know I tried everything so I just melted some down did some googling and voila so you put this, you've come up with this bumble balm, so you put it on your face and then what happened? What were the initial reactions? First I just melted down the beeswax and burnt myself, so I realised I'd have to mix it with something okay, to yep. be able to put it <laughs> yes, on you my would. skin. Good yeah. call, Hannah. <laughs> um, I spent my benefit grocery money to make a big batch and I you know, needed to feed my kids, so I sold some on the Taupo Buy Sale page and within three weeks, because people were finding... Um, relief with eczema and psoriasis and acne and all these other skin conditions. I was off the benefit after three weeks. Right, so eczema and all sorts of different things. All so you obviously sorts. created, it's got um, coconut oil and almond oils, all sorts of different yep. things. You've got a whole range going on now. So I mean, where to next for you? There's no limit. I'm not putting a limit on anything. I'm just going to keep going. I want to make like t-shirts with bumblebees on them. Everything. I'm not going to stop. Because it really does, mm, it smells delicious too. And it's all natural ingredients. All natural, yeah. So you're not going to harm yourself putting this on you, are you? No. Uh, except for one, though, that you have said to me before, because I've got sore joints, and you've made the special one, which is for uh, joints, nerves, and muscles. Yeah, and that one has the centre of the hottest pepper in the world in right. it. Okay. So I need to wear a little ventilator when I'm making it, and you know, be careful. Okay, so when I put this on my joints, which is going to help my joints, don't rub my eyes afterwards. Don't That's rub what your you're eyes. saying. Yep. Oh, fabulous. And the great thing about this is Hannah is Hannah has brought all these packs in today, which we have some special little treats for our audience as well. So nice work, Hannah, and well done, audience. Hannah, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Best of luck with your journey, and you're, you're looking magnificent, so it's obviously working very well for you. Best of luck with success for your continued health. Thanks for coming in and sharing your story.